Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for y'all. In this video, we are going to be painting engine glow on a model. So you can see here we have our example, we have a pair of uh, Blood Angel jetpack wings here, but this effect can work on orc backpacks, jet fighters, anybody anywhere that have any kind of, you know, glow to their engine. If you want to simulate that effect. And so this is a quick rundown of how we're going to achieve that get us started we're going to use cantor blue now obviously because we're going with the cantor blue we are going to be painting a blue glow you see here we got a little bit of medium just to help thin it down a bit so it flows nicely on the model and as you can see now the entire interior of the engine part or the nozzle i should say has been base colored in black and we're just quickly layering in this cantor blue and now this is really kind of almost the entire area but not quite we're still leaving some of the black in the crevices on the outer edges of their nozzles but we're concentrating more of the color on the center of the engine in the interior of the engine as well as kind of like the uh outermost parts of that inner detail there we're also mainly coloring all of that in us in the blue you see we're just catching some of the interior details as well I'm not sure if that little detail in there is part of the engine but hard to say with all these little sci-fi doodads and such and so it's just really quick we're layering this in we're not uh, applying it in thin layers well thinner than just with the medium but otherwise it's just you know quick little layering process there next we grab some techless blue or whatever mid-tone blue you happen to be using and again we're going to use some medium just to thin this down just a little just to help with flow so that we keep control over the paint and doesn't get everywhere on us and also isn't applied too heavily and that's another reason we're using the mediums often and as you can see here we're concentrating more of the color uh, it, basically in like a little circle within that center of that engine and we're coloring the innermost edges of the inside nozzle part and now again we're all immediately you'll begin to see a transition occur and already the engine in interior of the engine will feel a lot brighter and as we go forward you can pretty much stop at any point where you're happy with how the glow is looking but we're going to take it up to a fairly bright standard and so next we grab some lawthorn blue slap that into the techless blue and it's roughly a one-to-one -one mixture Again, we use a little bit of medium to thin it down just ever so slightly, just to bring it down just a bit, so it's nice and manageable. And again, now we're concentrating more of the color within the center, and now we're just going after some of the little corner areas. We're concentrating more of the color on the corners. Now, when doing this uh, on such a small area, I often will color one end of some of these funnier little details, like the little engine space underneath there. Because if you try and go with a kind of dead center, of the glow it kind of looks kind of funny and it's just you're better off kind of picking uh, one side almost like how we paint gems but not quite but you get the idea like it's kind of an off-center highlight next we grab just some regular Lawthorn blue we're not adding anything to this and we're gonna apply another layer inside there and again we're getting these highlights are getting shorter and shorter as we're using less and less pigment here and again you can see I'm just coloring just those inside corners of the uh, nozzle area there and again there's just that one side on that side and for fun you could also do like little spots on the inside of that main where the main engine glow would be where you know the most exhaust is gonna be coming out you could also put little spots in there if you want to create a little bit of texture or you know some variation kind of like a you know a gas stove kind of thing right next we grab some white scar slap that into the Lawthorn blue in a roughly one-to-one -one mixture and again, it's always rough mixtures because we're always just basically grabbing a dab of paint and mixing it in. And it's not really precise measurements. <laughs> and you can see here, it's very tiny little spot highlights in some of the areas. Really not a whole lot of color being laid down. But that's essentially it. You can even go to a white, pure white if you wanted. But that's it. That's creating the engine glow in blue. It's easy as that. 
give it a try. And thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful and informative. For the next quick tip video, leave a comment below or question as to what you'd like to see answered in the quick tip series. I do post these videos on a daily basis into Mini Wargaming's vault, as well as other painting tutorials, terrain tutorials. Click the link below to start your seven day trial of Mini Wargaming's vault, where you'll gain access to all sorts of videos, as well as quick tips, terrain and battle reports, and other random assorted funness. And so thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.